so let's draw a circle and i choose the point radius form so for the point i choose o o will give me the origin and let's say i choose 2 as my radius okay this is my circle and uh, GeoGebra is automatically labeling as the circle C. Let's draw another circle. Again, use the point radius form. So the point is still O. And let's say I choose uh, some other radius. Let's say radius uh, 5. And one more. This time we choose another radius. Um, let's say this time we choose. 2.87 yeah so just to give it um, some flavor so now i have three circles with three different radii and uh, let's calculate the circumference so in this video you will also uh, learn how GeoGebra guides you so you just type C I R C U and it gives you the command. So I will now calculate the circumference for the first circle, which is circle C. So I just type C and I get the circumference. Similarly, the circumference of circle D. You see, I need to remember the label. And the circumference of the circle E. So now I have I had three circles, circle C, circle D, circle E. So this is circle C, this is circle D, this is circle E with different radii and different circumference. And I just want to see how the ratio changes. This is how I explain the idea of pi to my son. As for so if I now cal if I calculate the ratio of a to four, you know, for two was the radius of the first circle, so twice of that is four. So I calculate a by four. I get the ratio of circumference to diameter for the first circle. For the second circle, the circumference is b. And remember, our radius was 5, so the diameter will be 10. And I get the ratio for that circle. And for the third circle, the circumference was stored in the variable f. So now I divide that by, if you remember, it was 2.87. So twice of that will be the diameter. So twice 2.87 and you see that in all the three cases i get the same ratio so yeah i i finally convinced us for that there must be something special about this uh, ratio that even though the circles are different one uh, property remains the same and then yeah so actually he came up to me and he asked, okay, what is special about pi? And this was that ah moment. So thank you for watching.